Welcome to Boat Training Online. I'm Captain Sean Pollard and today I want to talk to you about radio frequencies. But before we get too far into the weeds here, I want to make a recommendation. One is that you, you have a radio on board and two that you have it on. One of the problems a lot of beginning boaters have is that they don't know how to talk on the radio and if they did, they don't know what the frequencies are. So we're going to break down, I've, I've listed all the most important frequencies that you're going to encounter and we'll break them down and you can be talking on the radio today. Okay, so let's get into it. The most important frequency is channel 16. It's the international calling and distress frequency. Sometimes it's referred to as hailing and distress, but it's the same thing. And that calling part to two, two purpose channel, the calling part is to establish communications with somebody and then move them down to a frequency where you can actually have the conversation. So for example, I'm going to call my buddy uh, Paradox and I would do it like this. Paradox, Paradox, this is a smiling Irishman on channel 16, over. Paradox hears me, they respond. Smiling Irishman, this is Paradox. You want to switch to 6-8? Yep, switching 6-8 and we, we go have our conversation. That's how channel 16 calling portion is supposed to work. Now, if you don't establish communications within the first couple calls, give it a break and come back a little later on. There's no sense, there, there is a gazillion people trying to call everybody and there's no reason for you to make our ears bleed and call six or eight times in a row trying to, trying to get this guy. If he's not there, he's not there. So anyway, the second part of this is uh, distress. Now, a lot of new boaters think that you have to be dying or drowning or something in order to use this, and that's not the case. You need help. It may be a dead battery. It may be out of fuel. You've run aground. Wh whatever the situation is, it might not be a life-threatening situation, but you need help. So feel free to use Channel 16 for that purpose. You call the Coast Guard. If they determine that it's not that big of a deal, they may move you down to channel 22 Alpha because that's their liaison channel, their ability to talk to civilians, and they'll get your information and get you the help you need. It might be that you do have a life or death situation. The Coast Guard's not gonna move you off of channel 16, and all of us, channel 16 shuts down. It's only the only people that should be talking on this is the Coast Guard and the disabled vessel or the uh, distressed vessel. <clears throat> the upside to that is we can all hear what's going on and we can respond. You have state police, you have environmental police, you have the sheriff's office, you have um, the harbor masters, you have tow salvage companies that are unbelievable, their, their response is great. And then you just have regular civilian boaters. And I have pulled a ton of would-be rescues off of civilian boats. So that's one of the beauty things about, uh, about radios is that it informs people all around you that you don't even know are there, uh, that you're in trouble or you need help. And They'll, they'll respond. So 16, I suggest that you have your radio on and you have it monitoring channel 16. You may be the guy who renders assistance to somebody. Somebody's, uh, we just had a case where a woman fell off a sailboat and a civilian boater picked her up. They were right in the area. So it might be you that, that does the rescue. Our second one is channel 13 and channel 13 is bridge to bridge communication for navigational purposes. And what this is, is um, you're gonna make your, your um, maybe your passing agreements or you don't know exactly what a boat's gonna do or what they're trying to do. So you call it up and it's all to keep everybody in the confines of the rules of the road. You, 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 if you're gonna overtake somebody, you let them know and, and they understand what your intent is and, and, um, 
and vice versa. So channel 13 is bridge to bridge communication for navigational purposes. It should be done in low power. I don't know how many people switch their power. Uh, I will say this too. It's bridge to bridge, ship to ship. The only people that are authorized to talk from shore to somebody on this channel is traffic controllers. And in this area, we have the Army Corps of Engineers who um, they run the, the flow of traffic in and out of Cape Cod Canal. It's canal control. And uh, they are a shore-based unit who talk on channel 13. If you're in this area, uh, you'll hear them all the time talking to, to boats leaving and entering the Cape Cod Canal. These radios today all have scan features and I would highly recommend that you have 16 and 13 on your scan. If you're a vessel over 20 meters, which is approximately 60 feet, you're required to maintain a live watch on channel 13. So you have to have a dedicated radio just to channel 13. Um, next is channel nine. Channel nine is kind of an interesting, I think what happened was there is ungodly amount of traffic on channel 16 and I think the intent was to get the overflow to go to channel 9. I don't know that it ever caught um, but the upside to channel 9 is that's where you do all your radio checks if you're not sure if your radio is transmitting or whatever. You do your checks on channel 9 not on 16 and you'll hear people do them on channel 16 and everybody goes off on them. Uh, so, and, and, and if you have a buddy and you do have this as part of your scan and he knows that he can call you on channel nine, it may be easier to get a hold of each other using that. So it, it, it's just an option for you. But the, the radio check thing, that's, that's fairly important. Channel 22 Alpha, we talked about a little bit before. If the Coast Guard deems that you're probably not in a life or death situation, they may move you down to channel 22 alpha. But the other side of this is they do their marine safety information broadcasts on channel 22 alpha. So what is that? Uh, it's information that something is, is in the area, maybe a boat sank in a channel, and they're letting you know if you're in that area to, to be warned that there's a, a submerged vessel. Um, the New Bedford Hurricane Gate, when they close that, they always do a broadcast. Um, maybe a buoy's off station or a buoy is missing. Anything that has to do with the safe navigation or information that you'd need to know as a mariner. Now they start the broadcast off on channel, they make the announcement on channel 16 and then they move it down to 22 alpha. And I suggest that you, uh, you listen to a couple of those and kind of, it, it follows the format and it is informative. After a while, you'll just kind of, they'll <laughs> fade off into the sunset. But if there's something that you're, you're operating in, you, you'll, you'll definitely listen up on it. Okay, so these channels down here, 68, 69, 71, and 72, these are where you can go and, and have a conversation. You know, you, you and, and I recommend that you do that. Get a buddy, practice making contact, switch them over, get your spouse to do the same thing, get your children to do the same thing, get people used to talking on the radio because you don't want the first time that you're talking on the radio to be when you're in deep kimchi here. Your stress level is going to be elevated. And then the fact that you don't know what you're doing on the radio is just going to make it even worse. So do yourself a favor and, and find somebody and, and do these things. So this is it. It's not, there's no brain surgery here. Get out there, get the radio on, get talking on the radio and, uh, and get this thing mastered. Okay. If you found this helpful, I'd appreciate a like. You're always welcome to subscribe. And it's my sincere intent to help you create 
awesome memories on the water here. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you.